Morning, my friends. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun with this Mark Dice video where I saw the first five seconds. And I don't, don't mean to make such a doom and gloom video, but Mark Dice, I think he's going to be talking in the past, just like everybody else. All, all that Mark Dice could say, Mark Dice thinks it's taken place this week. And I've watched my whole life uh, how everything that Mark Dice is probably going to say, um, this was all set up 30 years ago, and I've watched it um, play out my entire life. None of it's new. You people are just barely waking up to what's been going on. I've watched my whole life truth be outlawed as all human beings are taught to gaslight each other and be postmodernist. When was it that truth was outlawed? That was like a long time ago. That was a long, 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 long time ago. I was a kid when truth became offensive. Where, where was everybody? I've been, I've been asking my whole life, where is everybody? Well, here they are. They're 20 to 30 years in the past. Well, politicians and news commentators have always had to watch what they say about certain subjects so they don't get fired. Artists have always been seen as the last bastions of free speech. That, that's what I heard from uh, Mark Dice. Well, let's see. I'm the only one that actually claims to be an artist. I'm the only one that teaches this. I'm the only one that's smart enough to know what it is. Um, and let, let, let me bring up this guy right here. Were we supposed to be calling this guy? An artist? Let's see. All right, I have some new tour dates to let you know about. Oh, oh, this guy Theo Vaughn, this fucking dumb fuck fucking idiot with his tour dates. He was never smart enough to know anything about anything. And when the world turned to communism, he made sure to say nothing at all. Oh. L let's look at how fucking stupid this fucking idiot is right here. L let's see. Does he have anything... Does, does this guy have a fucking working brain at all? Excellent. A lot of these common. You know what's funny is I'll hear about this guy. I'll hear that he, he, no, the fact that he's stupid, that's an act that he plays. Yeah, it's the character that every single person plays. It's who they actually are. Fucking idiots. I didn't realize. Was, was this the entertainer? Was this the, uh, creative person the celebrity that was gonna um somehow um say something about something or do something th this impotent dumb piece of shit right here till they started to go away i'm like well if this stuff doesn't mean anything if this stuff doesn't mean anything this the so so who are you actually talking about here mark dice censoring art no matter how provocative or censoring offensive. art it's um you people were supposed to stick up for me um, you let all of my channels get banned, and you never said anything about it. And um, who are you talking about, Mark Dice? Where's the artist? Where, where's the artist, Mark? It's my mystery school, Mark Dice. And as the last bastions of free speech. And censoring art, no matter how provocative or offensive it is to some people, was always seen as something only a tyrannical government would do. Uh, Mar Mark, I've been um, being banned for my art. It's true art. It's true comedy. The real shit. It's teachable while it's extremely profound. You never did anything, Mark. You, all you did was look to claim to um, get your YouTube money, Mark. You never gave a fuck. When it really came down to it there, Mark, you didn't give a fuck. Or offensive it is to some people, was always seen as something only a tyrannical government would do. Major music labels and movie studios have always stood by their artists and vigorously resisted calls for censorship, championing the freedom of expression, whether it was NWA's famous F the police. F the police, can't say fuck the police. Or blasphemous anti-Christian films like The Da Vinci Code or Martin Scorsese. Um, why is... Um... Mark Dice bringing up um, somehow anti-Christian things are good? Huh? What? So sounds like the destruction of your own civilization there, are Mark Dice, since our civilization is actually built on Christian values. Police or... Yeah, um, most people can't understand those Christian values, and all they can do is drunk righteousness. So we should actually... 
look at how people can't do any of these things and they take it based on their ego and they turn it all into drunk righteousness versus people that can actually learn for real. So uh, Mark Dice isn't even smart enough to know these things, these basic things. I'm not even saying anything esoteric. I'm not saying anything that the general public isn't allowed to know. Um, basic, uh, the cause and effect of Christianity itself. And the only thing Mark Dice can do is, hey, people should be able to make uh, videos trashing Christianity or making movies trashing Christianity. That's so it's kind of, I think that was kind of weird right there, Mark anti-christian films like i want to hear that again to, to, for some reason mark dice feels that he needs to put nwa and free speech just regular free speech of people and then christianity that built our civilization in the first place yeah christianity isn't people getting christianity wrong um you know how like most people have it wrong uh, mark we should straighten that out do major music labels and movie studios have always stood by their artists and vigorously resisted calls for censorship championing the freedom of expression whether it was nwa's famous f the police or blasphemous anti-christian films like the da vinci code or martin scorsese's the last temptation of christ but near the end of 2017 spotify the popular music streaming service announced that they would start censoring songs from hate bands what is a hate band whatever the southern poverty loss oh do you know what a hate band is rage against the machine you know the band the antifa plays the one that's um supreme black power the racist band rage against the machine those are the ones for you to censor right there if you wanted to censor um some racial supremacy well um you know, censor the uh, black supremacist rage against the machine. ...says, best known for hating Christians and white people, it's not surprising. The SPLC eventually got their tentacles wrapped around Spotify and other streaming services to help them keep a look... I, I can't think of another mainstream band that's just straight up racist. Um, it would be the band Rage Against the Machine. ...for hateful content. You, you know, I do know of a band that thinks that they're supposed to be racist. A white band that when you show them that they're being racist, they don't even get it. They just go, but this is, no, this is how you be nice to black people in Jim Crow. We're all from the deep South. And this is just the, the relationship that you have with black people so that they can get all their welfare checks and white people can feel good about themselves and they don't even understand that it's racist they just go what huh like they can't even comprehend when you go D did you know what you're doing is super racist then they go what it's like this whole thing of ignorance because it's their entire lives it's the way every single person they've ever known works it's the way that their own government works their mayor and all this shit and you know who that band is pantera when you show pantera hey hey pantera you know all that shit that you do so it's just hardcore fucking racist dude they go what i don't no it's not this is this is a relationship of how you be friends with black people when you're from the so you have pantera that have no fucking clue that they're a racist then you have the band Rage Against the Machine, where they're purposely racist. Oh, it's interesting, huh, Mark? It's too, it's too, th this is way above the head of uh, Mark Dice here. Y you know how? You know, you know when it's above their heads? See how Mark Dice gets a lot of views on his videos, and I don't get any on mine? Well, it's because what we do is intelligence, and the world is purposely dumbed down so people like stupid people. So, I mean, Mark, we're doomed. Mark, we're doomed. All Your entire audience, they think intelligence is stupidity, Mark. We're, we're absolutely doomed. Hey, Mark, why do you get 60? Mark only put this video out two hours ago. He already has 61,000. He'll probably have, you know, 400, 500,000 Mark. I can't even get over a hundred views on my video, Mark, and I seem to be infinitely more intelligent than you. I seem to give infinitely more information 
than you do. It seems, Mark, it seems that everything that I do makes the world a better place and everybody in it becomes smarter. What is it that you do, Mark? You, you just collect YouTube money. Music. Other streaming services like Apple and Pandora followed suit, banning supposed racist music by white... I mean, I, I hate, I hate to, to say that about Mark, but what, what does Mark do? He used to be on the... Uh, it's funny, back from my childhood, I'm used to watching Mark Dice do conspiracy videos on the Discovery Channel whenever there, there used to be... Uh, uh, something that there's the secret masons and the the see the masons are keeping the secrets from you and mark has spent his whole life on ooh those evil masons i'm mark i'm mark dice from the discovery channel i come from shows about teaching how people free masons are so evil because they have this secret hidden knowledge that we need to take away from them Services like Apple and Pandora. Okay, Mark. Okay, Mark. The You destroyed the Masons. Now, the world is totally woke. And there's no guardrails of reality. And it was actually the Masons and all the sacred teachings that was holding reality together. And you all got rid of it once the internet came. So, Mark, you, you got your wish. Masons are gone. So, what do you, what do you fucking people do? What, what do you fucking people do? Once you're in control, it's you, Mark, that you're the one that's doing this. This is what you call freedom, Mark. Mark doesn't know what free speech is. He thinks it's anarchy. He's one of the stupid people. Everyone is the stupid person. If you don't know what free speech is and you think it's anarchy, you're one of the fucking stupid people. Suit banning supposed racist music by white people who are pro-white or who support identity politics for white people while allowing rap music that blatantly... Yeah, and you all let it happen. And you all wanted it to happen. You didn't know what you were being pushed into. You thought it was great. Yet now that it's here, well, I mean, you don't think it's so great anymore. Did you become rich off of it? Yes, all of you profited off of it. Yes, you did. You became very wealthy off of it, Mark. Well, you don't like it now that it's here? Murder of police officers for people like Ice-T, NWA, and Snoop Dogg, who depicted himself murdering President Trump in one of his music videos. Wow, Snoop Dogg did that? Wow, this dumb fucking Jim Crow racist piece of shit talking about killing the president of the United States and he doesn't go to prison for that? Depicted himself murdering President Trump in one of his music videos and countless other rappers who spew anti-whitism in their lyrics. Anti-whitism. You know, I'm not even trying to make this video like I'm opposed to Mark. Mark represents how stupid the general fucking public is common for rappers to diss crackers and white boys in their music but that yeah um you never said anything about the comedy of chris rock um we watched that for many many years that's been going on for a long 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 the racist comedy overtly racist comedy there's nobody that could watch chris rock comedy and then go oh, that's normal oh no all, all that black supremacy no, that's somehow, no. you couldn't see it, you didn't know what it is, you thought it was your friend. How about when I was a kid, this is a real weird one, all white people were forced, forced by reality itself, then if anybody was going to say, nobody was forced, why, why when I was a kid, this transition started to happen where white people aren't allowed to act like white people? All white people have to act black. That's still going on till today. Anytime a white person thinks that they're being funny, they all of a sudden start acting black. Um, let's talk about that, Mark. What, where was it? What, what, where was it in our lives, in our generation? Because Mark Dice is also Generation X. Mark, we could both find this out. What, what time period? Where was it? How old were we? when it started to become off limits to be a white person and all white people have to start acting black because all white people do act black, especially when they think that they're being funny. And there's no such thing as acting black 
black is a Jim Crow culture. Um, do you know what uh, really acting black would be? That's an African. There's no such thing as acting black. Those are just Africans. Acting black is a United States Jim Crow thing. It's fine. Hating white people isn't considered to be racist to the left. And I'm not saying that those who... Oh, just ask the band Pantera. They would go, what? I don't understand anything that you're talking about. You're just explaining life itself to me that I understand it in the deep south. You must be talking about how we're nice to black people, how black people demand this so that they can get their reparations. Black people demand this because this is how they get their welfare. Black fragility in their music or on social media should be banned. I laugh whenever I hear some fragile black person use the word cracker, thinking it hurts white people's feelings. It just shows their weakness and their white envy. Many are jealous of what... Yeah, uh, well, well, you know what's super fucking hot in this area? How um, black women love white men. Oh, it's so fucking hot. People and instead of working to better themselves and their circumstances, they just no, just just think, just think about it. And and I don't even I, what I'm talking about is the difference between Martin Luther King and Jim Crow. Of course, black women are attracted to Martin Luther King. So look at look at how a black man in Jim Crow is supposed to live. A black man in Jim Crow answers to women. A black man in Jim Crow is completely emasculated, isn't considered a man, it definitely isn't considered a father because they're not fathers at all. A man in Jim Crow is an irrelevant piece of shit. A, a man in Jim Crow, Jim Crow is female supremacy, as the black man's supposed to yell for black supremacy. Um... A man in Jim Crow, yeah, you live in female supremacy. Females don't see you as a viable man. They don't see you as a father. They don't see you, uh, they see you as every day I'm hustling, every day I'm sent, selling fentanyl to children. So would a black woman be attracted to a white man who's respectable, who has a job, who um, can make a family? Oh, well, I could see why black women would be 100% attracted to white men. People and use us as a scapegoat for all of their problems. And Jay-Z's albums are okay, despite calling women is in literally 50% of his songs. I'm going to bleep that out because I try to run a family-friendly show here, but it's the B word. So black rappers being misogynistic in their music is just fine. It's a major part of rap culture and rap music. It would be racist to criticize them for that, but you can't make fun of gay people or transgenders, and you especially can't criticize them in your lyrics. Christian rap... Oh, I should... What, while Mark is saying these things, I should have brought up one of those Jim Crow cartoons one of those sambo cartoons and then we'll understand sambo and um you're just we we would understand it by watching the jim crow cartoon because real life itself the jim crow people are following exactly what a jim crow cartoon is so we would we would see all these orders being given we would see it being taught to us in the jim crow cartoon Rap music, it would be racist. See, to see, look, it, the, where do they get this from? It's something that's taught. It's just fine. It's a major part of rap culture and rap music. It would be racist to criticize them for that. But you oh, the Sambo cartoon tells you that black people are too stupid to know what anything is, and they're just dumb savages. So this is dumb savage gorilla people and what they do they're too stupid and you could never hold them accountable because the jim crow cartoon tells you and teaches them that they're too stupid to ever be held accountable make fun of gay people or transgenders and you especially can't criticize them in your lyrics christian rapper bryson gray has had numerous songs of his censored from the music streaming services including his song pride month denouncing the LG uh, look look here's a black man that they don't consider black here's another black man that they kick out of jim crow because he thinks for himself 
He, he's, he wants to be a respectable human being. He doesn't want to be seen as a gorilla savage person. He wants to be the respectable person that he actually is that lives in Martin Luther King. See propaganda filled month of June when virtually every Fortune 500 company not only posts happy gay pride messages on social media, but also change their profile pictures to incorporate rainbows. I wonder what it's like for you guys when you watch any other video other than a mystery school video and you realize you're 20 years in the past. You realize that every single person is 30 fucking years in the past company logos the it must be weird it must be weird symbol the lgbt people have adopted for their sexual preferences youtube even censored one of his songs for a line about the covid pandemic saying it was medical misinformation for a lyric in a song there were calls to ban kanye west's music from spotify after his comments about a certain group of people in the entertainment industry one of the songs that he released on instagram in december of last year thought see what's hilarious is people actually need to wake up to what you and I have discovered. I hope you're all having fun with it. The whole thing of where it doesn't matter that Jews are a people. It's actually irrelevant. It, all the biblical stuff is Jew is a lower life form. And it's a lower life form that lives by the law of duality. Then Jesus Christ converts Jew to Christian. I hope you guys are having so much fun with that, I hope you're going into the Bible. I hope you're going into things to go, oh my God, that's really how it is. Uh, I hope you're having fun with your whole life. You've been told, Jesus Christ, he was a Jew. Jesus, Th This should make all of it make sense. That, that was the real truth. Jew is a lower life form that's trapped in the trees of good and evil. It conducts its whole life by the law of duality. And um, it, it really, it really brings the whole thing of like Jews and Christians and those, it really makes sense of everything. The band Kanye West's music from Spotify. There, there's no reason to hate a people. We hate the law of duality. Jesus Christ came to destroy the law of duality and replace it with the real law comments about a certain group of people in the entertainment industry one of the songs that he released on instagram in december of last year titled someday we'll all be free was quickly censored for supposedly being anti-semitic anti-semitism no, no, nobody should be hating uh people nobody should be hating um people or they're different than you or it comes down to the antichrist it comes down to the demi urge it comes down to how the demi urge works through all people and they don't know it that's where the whole thing is um hate the sin and love the sinner why would we hate the sin and love the sinner because the sinner has no fucking clue that they're the demi urge the sinner has no fucking clue that they're not being themselves. We hate the sin and we love the sinner. Yeah, the sinner needs to learn that they've become something they're not. They've become the demi-urge. In a song. Yeah, we hate the demi-urge and we love human beings. What When, when the boy was demon-possessed in Jesus of Nazareth, and Jesus did a, um, an exorcism, I guess we could call it that. Jesus does, exercises the demon from the boy. What was Jesus Christ exercising? The demi-urge. The Jesus Christ was getting rid of the demi-urge. The, the child was Satan-possessed, which means the demi-urge took over the child. Jesus Christ exercised the demon, the demi-urge, out of the child so that he could be himself. See, that's what needs to happen for all human beings. Ego death. You know, it makes my comedy come full circle in all these videos where I'm like, oh, kill him. Oh, put him in a concentration camp and starve him to death. What I'm talking about is every single human being needs to go through this enlightening process. It's supposed to be school itself. That's where you get everybody together to teach them the enlightenment. School. Meanwhile, there where, where, where's school? What happened to school? School is supposed to be teaching children to live beyond duality. It's supposed to be releasing them from the trees of good and evil prison itself, teaching them things like the flower of life, 
Where where's the flower of life? Where's where's real school? What, what did you people do with real school? What did you replace school with? Did you even know what school was in the first place? Countless songs. Did you know what you were supposed to be learning in school? Do you know what school's for? By heavy metal bands, which are blatantly anti-Christian, but that kind of they don't know. It just makes Mark's it just makes Mark Dice's video more silly. Like, okay, Mark, you're right. You're talking about all this censorship, but hey, Mark, you're not smart enough to know what free speech is. So we don't get to have free speech because you don't know what it is, Mark. You think it's anarchy, uh, Mark? <laughs> we lose, Mark. We lose because you didn't even know what free speech is, Mark. You and everybody else, you and all your fucking fans, all your subscribers, Mark. Did you, hey, Mark, if you knew what free speech actually was, you would be making videos on the difference. You would be making videos on, wait a minute, YouTube doesn't know what free speech is. Everything they do is illegal. Hey, Mark, all of this happens because you don't know the actual real version of anything at all, and you think it's just anarchy. Music is just fine. One album by a heavy metal band called Marduk titled F Me Jesus is allowed on Spotify, Amazon Music, Bandcamp, YouTube, and even Walmart sells their album. Which... I, I, I think it's funny that obviously YouTube thinks I'm more dangerous than all this shit. The way that I'm shadow banned. The way that I'm not even allowed to have an audience of any fucking kind. I think it's funny that obviously YouTube thinks I'm more dangerous. YouTube, Google thinks that I'm the most dangerous one that could ever fucking be. I am censored here because I run a family for <laughs> The way that I'm censored <laughs> is um, some real Joseph Stalin type shit. What they've done to me. So I hesitate to even describe it, but the album look, covers... look, look at all this stuff. Look, look at this one. Fuck me, Jesus. What is Mark arguing for? In all these, Mark is arguing for the destruction of Christianity. It seems that everything Mark brings up that's censored is this weird postmodernism shit. It's not decent. See, you could do things like, oh, fuck Jesus. Oh, that, re but it would have to be decent. This isn't decent. Was a naked woman using a crucifix as a dildo. Amazon also sells. A yeah, all that's, that, that's fine. But you people don't know what decent is. So that's not art. Art is decent. Untitled F White People, which has a noose on the album cover. They also stock various black supremacist books that promote actual hate groups like the black Hebrew Israelites, but banned all shirts and other merchandise that says it's okay to be white. In 2018, Spotify announced another new policy saying they were going to start banning songs from artists who have engaged in. But why would I care? Why would I care? I have some of the most professional music on Spotify and um, I have the least amount of listeners. There's no, there's no place for me in the world. So fuck all of you people. I, I'm to that point. You, you, none of you ever helped me out. Um, all of you tried to destroy my life and never cared about anything. And um, I should have more than 15 listeners on Spotify for the orchestral music that I created, my true original works. Who's the, who are the people that get um, listens on Spotify? Um, Tim Pool, the Tim Pool Band? Yeah, the Tim Pool Band gets listens on Spotify because Tim Pool has a big audience and the music was completely irrelevant. But me, who is a true artist who actually has real fucking music, I get 15 listeners a month. And Tim Pool makes an entire living just off of his Spotify, which he has no band. He has no music. It might as well be a meme. It might as well be a joke. Well, I'm to the point to where since my life is only suffering, it's your turn. It's your turn, motherfuckers. Die. Die, all of you. Fuck you all or hateful conduct in their personal lives like domestic violence or sexual abuse that meant fuck you all you n none of you ever knew what freedom was well that's how all of this can be done because none of you know what freedom is and you think it's anarchy go to hell motherfuckers go to hell go to hell starve to death get, get banned you stupid fucking idiots get censored you dumb fuck retards all you ever cared about was money 
You never, you never learned anything. You could never see anything. You just thought freedom was anarchy. Kelly, and... Did, did you know it's very difficult to actually know how freedom of speech works? Did you know that these are tongue twisters for the mind? It takes an edu it takes an esoteric education just to understand what freedom of speech is. It's extremely complicated as nothing could be easier. It's so complicated, you stupid people will never penetrate the beginning of it. You'll never know what anything is. You'll fight for anarchy, which you're fighting for the communism. You lose, Mark. We lose. Everybody loses, Mark. Michael Jackson could be pulled, would be pulled. But then just three weeks later, they... Hey, Mark, what, why aren't any of your videos educational? What, why is there absolutely nothing to... It, if you were concerned about these things, wouldn't you be teaching people what they are? But see, Mark assumes that he knows what freedom is. He thinks it's anarchy. All of his subscribers, they assume that they know what freedom is, and every single one of them thinks it's anarchy. Their decision and apologized, saying they don't want to be the moral police, but... To... Freedom is when you don't use somebody else's freedom to destroy freedom. It's very easy. That They were still going to be censoring... In, in all of this, are you using somebody else's freedom against them to destroy freedom? That's how you know it's illegal speech. The free speech has laws on it. Did we not know that? Is that too complicated for the stupid people that live in duality and everything's red and blue for them and they can't understand the inner workings of everything? They just think everything's a hypocrite. They, they don't understand the, com the complexities of things. All the hate speech. Guns N' Roses song, One in a Million, which was released on their 1988 album, GNR Lies, includes a line about... Holy shit. I, I, I just laugh when I hear all the way back to 1988. Damn, that was a long time ago. And, and well, I can't even quote the lyrics or I'll get canceled, but it's a word referring to a certain group of people that rhymes with maggots. But when the studio released the Guns N' Roses box set... To the I must be so dumb, I don't even know the word. I was going to say it. What's the word? 18. They didn't include... The oh, I get it now. ...song because it has been deemed racist and homophobic. It's probably only a matter of time before other songs like Aerosmith's Dude Looks Like a Lady will be banned for being transphobic as well. Once you give liberals an inch, they demand a mile, and since they smell blood in the water, they will continue their quest to eliminate everything they find offensive. I, I wonder if the truth could stop them. Yeah, yeah, actually knowing what free speech is, knowing how laws actually work, but see, since you people don't, well, they just do whatever they want. You're stupid. That's the problem. You're an idiot, Mark Dice. Where's the teachable things from your video where people are actually learning what free... You don't know what it is yourself, Mark. Beyonce... So then, so then what? Are, why are you even making videos, Mark? What are you doing? What are you doing? Mark, if you don't know what any of this shit is, you can't teach anybody what it is. You, we can't cure this problem with Mark Dice. Then what the fuck are you doing here, Mark? Lizzo, the morbidly obese singer who the media insists is beautiful, both removed the word spaz from their lyrics after they were called out by twits on Twitter for being ableist, meaning offensive towards disabled people, because spaz is short for spasm or spastic, referring to cerebral palsy or other disorders which cause people to have uncontrollable movements. Rapper Tom McDonald was censored from the YouTube trending list after he released a song called Fake Woke, denouncing wokeness and all the political correct insanity being pushed by the left his video immediately went viral and made it into the youtube trending list but um, was... tom mcdonald's fans are the uh woke gen z they don't know what freedom is i remember making videos on um tom mcdonald and his fans came to cancel my life they're the woke fucking stupid idiots fuck tom mcdonald go to hell you dumb piece of shit why do you have all those fucking idiot tattoos all of your all over your face Tom McDonald, you look like a real fucking idiot. Mysterious. Let's see, Tom McDonald, that's how your generation, that's how internet, should we talk about why Tom McDonald has tattoos all over, all over his face? Because that's how you destroy your life for the internet, Tom. Um, you get, they let you be famous if you ruin your face 
with tattoos and you have to walk around the rest of your life with those really stupid homemade tattoos all over your face so that everybody can laugh at you your whole life and you but you got lots of money for that so you get to walk around looking like an idiot everybody goes look at that dumb fuck with tattoos all over his face and then tom goes but i traded that i traded i had to do it to become famous to become fame a famous rapper in the millennial world it's like this it's like this pact with satan you have to get tattoos all over your face so that everybody laughs at you for the rest of your life for all the tattoos you have on your face and then tom goes but i'm rich See, no, and um, was it worth it? Was it worth it to be not respected? Was it worth it there, Tom? Was it worth it to become the millennial rapper where the pact is you have to get tattoos all over your face? That's the rule. It's the same thing as um, Ice Poseidon. It's the same thing as anything for views. Hey, guys, I'll torture myself for views on YouTube. Will you guys donate to me if I torture myself? Hey, guys, will you make me a famous... The rules are, hey, guys, I'm not allowed to be a famous rapper unless I get all these tattoos over my face because that's the same humiliation as social media. Did I do the humiliation right? Can I be famous now? I have all the tattoos all, all over my face like I'm supposed to. Removed. What a fucking tool. What a fucking tool this fucking Tom is. Even though on his video, the tattoo... Guys, I'm not allowed to be famous unless I get tattoos all over my face so everybody laughs at me. The rest of them, that's the purpose. That's why they have you get tattoos on your face. It's a social media joke. It's a joke on you, Tom. So you got the tattoos on your face so that everybody laughs at you the rest of your life. And Tom goes, no, but I'm, I'm rich and famous. Yeah, the general public laughs at Tom everywhere he goes. He has to hide his face because he ruined his face with a bunch of fucking homemade tattoos. Real, real smart there, guy. Real fucking smart that it made the trending list because the censors aren't perfect. Their arrogance often causes them to overlook certain details that reveal their activities. And if you looked on the actual trending list of the YouTube trending videos that day, as it counted down, it was mysteriously missing a certain number, his. When record executive Lior Cohen, who led Def Jam Records and later Warner Music Group, appeared on a popular hip-hop talk show called The Breakfast Club, he was pressed about why he published so much music that encourages drugs and violence. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not si sitting here trying to make a downer of a video. Look how these motherfuckers are 20 to 30 years in the past. This opioid thing, man. They didn't care. None of them cared. They were all getting wealthy on YouTube. None of them. Nobody cared. Now, all of a sudden, they care. Yeah. It, it seems like they're, they're making it cool to be drinking lean and syrup. And, it's, and the most dangerous, it's the most and dangerous and thing that's facing um, um, our society. They're making it. What, who's making it? Listen, this guy goes. They're making it cool to drink lean. I don't even know what that is. Is that like liquid heroin, like XQC was doing? Um, no, that's your own community. That's your own Jim Crow community where Joe Biden is the leader of it. Your your own community does that to your own community as you play the song. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm destroying my own community by selling fentanyl to children. I'm t I'm t showing children that it's really cool to drink this lean shit is it liquid heroin you're getting children addicted on um, liquid heroin then you want to blame somebody else um it's your own jim crow community that's how you make money every day you're hustling hustling hustle what uh, are every day are you not hustling i thought that was your theme song i thought that that was your entire lives i thought you were coming up on the paper Hey man, I'm cut. How would you say, hey uh, guys, how, how how else do they come up on the paper? You got to come. Can I say it whiter? I'm trying to be as white as I can because I want to be nothing like Jim Crow. I don't want to be forced to act black. I don't want to be forced to think that Jim Crow things are somehow. Ooh, Jim Crow. Uh, uh. to be. So 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 look at he, he's uh, saying it as though the white man is doing it to him. Well, the white man is Joe Biden. The black man who is the white man is doing it to you. 
violence. This opioid thing, man, is... It, it seems like they're, they're making it cool to be drinking lean and syrup and... It's the most dangerous It's the most dangerous and... thing that's facing um, um, our society. Are you so, so why sign an artist that... No, was... no, not our... So are you talking about Martin Luther King? Because Martin people in Martin Luther King don't even know what this shit is. No, no. It, it, oh, here's the mother. This is that dumb motherfucker right here. VP Biden. This is the dumbass motherfucker. This idiot right here. And then Joe Biden goes, you ain't black unless you do what I say. And then this dumb slave that lives on the plantation, this dumbed down Sambo idiot right here goes, okay, master, whatever you say, master. The master said, I'm not black unless I do what he tells me. Okay, VP Biden. Okay, Massa. Uh, ma hey, Massa, I, I don't know what to do without your orders, Master. Um, oh, I need to I need to get some... Li look, look at this dumb idiot's face right here trying to act like he's somehow um, thinking about... You don't think, dude. You're a fucking idiot. I, uh, I, I, we should go to the Jim Crow neighborhood and ask... Um, Ask the women how relevant men are in Jim Crow. They're irrelevant. Promote it. Why, why are you trying to act like you're intrigued about something? Um, you don't know how to do anything unless Joe Biden tells you, Sambo. Um, because I, I already answered that question. You weren't paying attention. Um, she asked me talent or issues. And I said talent. But I, I, I have to, I, I can't give up on people. I don't think that's hypocritical, though. Look, 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 the Sambo. The Sambo goes, isn't that hypocritical? I live in a world of duality where I can't understand the inner workings of things. I can't understand the complexities of everything. I just claim everything's a hypocrite. Shut up, Sambo. Maybe you should um, only be listening to Joe Biden. I have to... I, I can't give up. You're, Sambo, the cartoons, your your own Jim Crow cartoons have taught me you're lazy and stupid. People. I don't think that's hypocritical. Though. I wouldn't. The, the, the dumb Sambo, the dumb Sambo, the hypocritical Sambo wanted to claim something's hypocritical. Well, that's what makes you Sambo there, Sambo. Ask me talent or issues. And I said talent. But I, I, I have to, I, I can't give up on people. I don't think that's hypocritical, though. You're saying um, it's opportunistic. No, no, Sambo. No, Sambo. You're just too stupid to know what things are. That's why your massa is um, Joe Biden. Maybe you're not. You're not educated enough to have a thought of your own, Sambo. People. I don't think that's hypocritical, though. Um, it's opportunistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got. I got. I, I love how this guy from Martin Luther King. I love I love how he's just talking over Sambo. Like, hey Sambo, go get some education before you think that you get to speak. Um, um, it's opportunistic. The, the 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 white guy from Martin Luther King has pretty much had it here with Sambo. No, isn't it hypocrite? You can't get anywhere with Sambo. He just keeps claiming everything's a hypocrite while he can't understand the inner workings. He can't understand the complexities of things. I don't think that's hypocritical though. Um, it's opportunistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got I got people to feed. <laughs> um, oh, I got a I got a I got a business to run. <laughs> You're gonna make Dame Dash take this clip and call you a culture vulture. Well, he sure seems like the kind of record executive that Kanye West was talking about when he got completely canceled. Lear Cohen, by the way, has been dubbed hip hop's biggest supervillain. And for anyone who doubts the power that music has to incite people to engage in certain kinds of behaviors, they're obviously not aware that the CIA recruited popular artists in Cuba in order to use them and their music to foment discontent in the country and encourage Cubans to rise up against the communist leader route. That's exactly what's happening here. That's exactly what's happening in the United States. Astro. Declassified documents reveal that anybody that can't see that, you're really fucking blind. If you can't see that it's the own, it's your own United States government that's calling all of its own citizens white supremacist, the United States government wants to take all white people, 
put all white people in a concentration camp and kill them. Don't we see this continue this thing? The, the only thing that I see from the news and all that is they're, they're continuing to just come up with any way of, well, are we going to round up everybody for Martin Luther King and put them in a concentration camp and kill them? And the, what they do is they claim that anybody that lives in Martin Luther King is a racist. They claim anybody that lives in Martin Luther King is a terrorist. So when are they going to round up all the white people that live in Martin Luther King and kill them as they are Jim Crow? It's a Jim Crow uh, cult against Martin Luther King. U.S. government was behind a covert mission in Cuba to recruit the rappers. And I love how all these people think that Martin Luther King was somehow a socialist or a communist. These are people that can't comprehend anything. Use them to encourage their fans to rise up against the government and spent millions of dollars doing so through a front company, which... The oh, it's exactly what happened on January 6th. All of January 6th was a fabrication just to put people in prison, to round up white people. The only... that All of January 6th was fake. It's one of these things that they do in other countries. They turned around and did it to their own country. They turned around and did this shit to the United States. Who did this? The FBI. Who did this? The CIA. A often uses. This one was called Creative Associates International. This is all... Uh, 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 did you know? that all the crisis actor people on YouTube were right. All those crazy crisis actor conspiracy people on YouTube, th all of it was right. They were fucking right. It's all this shit is crisis actor shit. It, none of the, nothing, it, it, it's, it's such a long conversation to talk about how things end up in the news. Nothing in the actual real world ends up in the news. The news is propaganda. All this shit is done by your own government. Then the then CNN, who is controlled by the government, runs it. Did anybody think that did anybody think that CNN is 100% government sponsored? CNN and Fox. It's how duality works. It's most people will never understand how the Hegelian dialectic works and both sides are controlled and they're controlled with controlled opposition. The left side's controlled by your government. The right side is controlled by the government and they're supposed to look like they're somehow opposing sides. It sounds like a conspiracy theory to those who don't understand how things actually work, but it is another conspiracy fact. And if you think the CIA setting up phony talent agencies to covertly influence music is shocking, then wait until you learn about Operation Mockingbird, the central intelligence. I'm so sick of hearing about this shit, though. I'm so sick of their Operation Mockingbird. I'm so sick. It's right in front of you. You can't even see what reality is, how it's controlled, how any of this shit works. They think it's the Operation Mockingbird. This agency is so sick of so sick of it. So sick of the stupid people. Justified scheme where they figured that they would just pay tens of thousands of dollars a year under the table to editors. Reporters. Look how old this is. 1975. The um, it's been working through all social media. Google is government controlled. YouTube. It's not that the FBI are inside YouTube. It's not that the CIA. They control the whole fucking thing. Oh my God! Wake up, you. Dumb idiots. TV anchors at major media outlets. To oh my God. Twitter, 100% FBI controlled, 100% CIA controlled. You know what's the difference? When Elon Musk bought it, the, he, Elon Musk pretty much bought it from the FBI. He pretty much bought it from the United States CIA. The, who, who was in control of, of Twitter? <laughs> uh, we're how, how dumb are you? How fucking dumb, how dumb are people? Gandis and gatekeepers for the government. Equally disturbing are the behind the scenes government connections to you, big you, tech. You have to look back to something from 1975, a year before I was born? You have to look all that, well, you can't just look at um, the last 20 years? 
social media platforms where they engage in censoring topics that we've seen with the release of the Twitter files. And one can only begin to imagine what has happened and continues to happen at Facebook, YouTube, and the rest. We're seeing the very principle of free speech under attack. Like uh, We're seeing the print mark. The whole problem is you don't know what free speech is, so we can't clean anything up. Hey, Mark, if you knew what free speech was, you'd be saying it all the time in your videos. But since you just think that it's anarchy and free speech confuses you, you just say free speech and never explain what it actually You all just assume that you know what free speech is as you believe it's anarchy. That's why we lose, Mark. Before. Free speech is extremely complex. Stupid people think it's anarchy. The liberal media industrial complex even claiming that freedom of speech is dangerous, and saying that conservatives have weaponized the First Amendment. There is and, and look how well it works against Mark Dice. Look, they've weaponized free speech and all this. You know how that's able to happen? Because you don't know what it is in the first place, Mark. You just assume that you do. All you people assume that you do. But if I asked you, what is free speech? How does it work? Every every last person would be <clears throat> a deer in the headlights. The, their egos are used against them. They assume that they know these things. But the whole entire reason that you lose is because you don't know what they are and you assume that you do. We spend restrictions on the First Amendment. For example, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater and you can't threaten to murder someone or encourage acts of terrorism. But today, a rap song insulting LGBT extreme. Well, Mark, Mark was starting to talk about it. He was starting. He was starting to go there. To believe that, yeah, free speech has laws on it, Mark. Free stupid people. They think that's hypocritical. They can't understand anything. They don't know how free they hear the word free speech. And they think that it means anarchy. No, if if it meant anarchy, it would just be called anarchy. 57 different genders or white rock bands singing about being proud of their race aren't allowed to be heard on the brand name streaming platforms, which were supposed to open up distribution channels. Oh, and, and you know who you do have to blame for this kind of shit? Canadians. Um, Canadians don't have free speech, so they see the uh, free speech of the United States and they try to shut it down. You know who doesn't have free speech? Britain. All those stupid people. Do you know um, they're jealous of the United States and it's free speech? They can't comprehend it. So all British people censor people from the United States. Um, how about them Australians? Australians, they have speech laws. They have no clue what freedom of speech is. So when they see the freedom of speech of the United States, they demand that the United States have the same laws that they do. So the United States has no freedom anymore due to Canada, due to British, due to Australia. You have to look no further than the colony. See the United States split off from the colony so that we can have freedom. I don't pretend to be friends with the British. I don't pretend, and, I, and I'm not talking about the people. I'm talking about British itself. I'm talking about the Queen. Um, I don't pretend to be friends of Canadians who are trying to take away my own freedoms from me. I don't pretend to be friends of the Australians who are trying to take my own freedoms away from me because they themselves do not have freedom. You have to look no further than the colony to, to see who's doing all this independent artists but now instead of the major record labels standing in their way it's the streaming services back in march of this year apple censored a song called justice for all from itunes why why were they censored because people from canada people british people people from australia complained that they don't have the same freedoms yeah that's exactly what happened after it reached number one on their charts because the song features a group of political prisoners incarcerated for being at the Capitol at the mostly peaceful protest on January. Oh, hey, guys, look, the Proud Boys again. But the uh, founder of the Proud Boys seems to walk free. The, the, the founder of the Proud Boys gets to do all the illegal threats and everybody else goes to prison for it because he actually works for the Democratic Party. And it's one of these coups. You know, everything that Mark Dice is talking about, isn't that Gavin McGinnis and his Proud Boys?
to song the Star Spangled Banner over the phone from jail. Oh, let's see. The the leader, the founder of the Proud Boys doesn't go to prison, but some other guy is called the leader. Some black man is called the leader and founder of the Proud Boys. He goes to prison for 22 years, but the actual leader and Proud Boys, he continues doing all of his terroristic threats and huh, nothing happens to him. He must work for the Democratic Party. The lifelong lefty Gavin McGinnis. And that was recorded and then mixed with Donald Trump reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. All the proceeds from the song went to help the families. Hey, Mark, why, did, why, why weren't you able to find out about Gavin McGinnis? The political prisoners, many of which, as you know, have been held without bail for years, even though they weren't even accused of committing any violent crimes. But shortly after the song was released, it hit number one, iTunes banned it. Then after outrage on social media, they reinstated the song and claimed, as usual, it was just a mistake, <laughs> just a mistake that they banned the... Oh, I need to get me something to drink and some coffee over here. ...one song on their platform. It's always just a mistake. What really happened is the censors dump information down the memory hole on a regular basis, hoping nobody notices. And when the brand name conservatives are too cowardly to speak out against such censorship, it flies under the radar, not getting any media coverage. And then... And they feel they've done their job correctly. But when people actually grow some balls and denounce the censorship and it starts trending on social media, making headlines and members of Congress... Start the, the problem is with censorship, Mark. None of you know what is legitimate. Once again, you think it's freedom. That's how you lose. You don't know what's actually credible. You don't know the difference between postmodernism and legitimate shit. So all you're fighting for, Mark is um anarchy in every single way mark that's how you lose you d actually don't know how these things work mark and if you did you'd actually be educating your audience on it and your audience is the same dumb fuck you are into it then sometimes all of you dumb people always assuming that you know things but all you have to ask these dumb people is explain freedom of speech to me what is it how does it work tech platforms reverse their decision and then they always say and then they go i never expected anybody to ask me what freedom of speech is or how it works we just all we're just a gang of idiots that just assume that we know things we just uh, we just agreed that we just know what freedom of speech is but when somebody actually asks me what it is i don't fucking know just a mistake. If you like my serious monologues like this, then you'll yeah, have All of you, we all lose because you people don't know what an ego is. And you don't know when your ego is used against you. And you don't know this game where you just all agree to assume to know. The, the most important thing for you people to know is what freedom of speech is and how it works. You don't. You don't. You don't. So we all lose. We all suffer because all of you people have your egos used against you. You're not smart enough to know that none of you know what it is. That's how we lose. You you talk about uh, censorship. The censor. Okay, well then, what uh, certain things should be censored, Mark? Um, freedom has laws on it. You don't get to use freedom to destroy freedom. That's really the only law. Is what gets censored? Well, is something using our own freedom to destroy? freedom itself that goes that gets censored that's banned everything else is free speech is it decent that's free speech book so order it's pretty easy it actually it's very difficult media industrial complex in paperback from amazon.com so yep. much love to everybody i hope you had a lot of fun with this Let, let's do some more let's have some more fun much love to everybody if you're learning for real at the mystery school please donate